The Kalinin K-7 was a massive experimental aircraft developed by the Soviet Union in the 1930s. With a wingspan of 53 meters, 173 feet, and a length of 28 meters, 92 feet, it was one of the largest aircraft ever built at the time. This article will provide an overview of the Kalinin K-7, its design, capabilities, and the reasons behind its ultimate demise. Designed by the Soviet engineer Konstantin Alexeyevich Kalinin, the K-7 was intended to serve multiple purposes, including long-range bombing, troop transport, and aerial reconnaissance. Its unique design featured seven engines, mounted in pairs on the leading edge of the wings. The aircraft had a total weight of around 22 tons and was equipped with retractable landing gear. The K-7 was designed to accommodate a crew of up to 25 people, including pilots, gunners, and technicians. It had an impressive maximum speed of 220 kilometers per hour, 137 miles per hour, and a range of approximately 4,000 kilometers, 2,485 miles. The aircraft was armed with multiple defensive machine guns, and it could carry a significant payload of bombs, or up to 120 fully armed troops. Construction of the K-7 began in 1931, and the prototype made its first flight on August 11, 1933. The initial test flight showed promise, demonstrating good stability and maneuverability for an aircraft of its size. However, further development and testing revealed several issues, including problems with the engines, control systems, and structural integrity. Despite these challenges, the Soviet government was impressed by the K-7's potential and ordered a second prototype and additional production models. The second prototype incorporated modifications based on lessons learned from the initial test flights. However, tragedy struck before the K-7 could realize its full potential. On July 21, 1933, during a demonstration flight in the Moscow region, the first prototype of the K-7 suffered a catastrophic failure leading to a crash that resulted in the loss of the entire crew on board. The cause of the accident was attributed to structural failure, specifically the failure of the tail structure. This incident significantly impacted the further development and production plans for the K-7. Although the second prototype was completed, it never flew, and no production models were ever manufactured. The Soviet government ultimately canceled the K-7 project in 1935, partially due to the difficulties encountered during development and the lack of progress in resolving the design issues. The Kalinin K-7 was a bold and ambitious undertaking, representing the Soviet Union's aspirations for advanced aviation technology. While it faced numerous technical challenges and met an unfortunate end, its immense size and unique design continue to captivate aviation enthusiasts to this day. The legacy of the K-7 serves as a reminder of the bold experimentation and innovation that characterized the early days of aviation development.